Hello, I'm Bobby Joe here at Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to do an experiment on how CO2 affects a flame. As you can see here, we have two candles set up and a block of dry ice. Now, this is a variation on a classic experiment that does essentially the same thing. Now, let's see what happens when I put this dry ice behind this board here. Now, as, what you're hearing now, probably, is the dry ice. It's uh, fizzling on the, the hotter flask surface. And uh, as you see right here, one of the flames is already going out. Because CO2 is heavier than air, it, uh, it, it fills up the bottom of the flask. And eventually what we'll see is we'll see this next flame go out. Which should happen at any time. And like I was saying before, since dry ice is solid uh, carbon dioxide, what's happening is instead of melting, it's actually subliming where it goes directly into the gas phase. And as you see, this flame is going, is uh, getting weaker now, and it's out. So right now, the CO2 is up to this level here, and that is the extinguishing two tea lights with dry ice.